horses behind us plowing the field. I don't know if you've seen that before. That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> That's the first time I saw a horse plowing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, folks, uh, first off, uh, welcome to the Ellis Farm. And uh, the Ellis family have been here for over a hundred years on this piece of property on Westham Island. And uh, it's a really a, a very, very family operated uh, oriented farm. There's Gordon Ellis, he's got uh, I believe four daughters. They're all still active on the farm. Uh, as you can see, it's called Westham Island Herb Farm and uh, they grow all sorts of cool things. They do a huge thing at, uh, at Halloween out here. It's a great place to come at Halloween to pick uh, your own pumpkins and, and see all the cool stuff they have here uh, at Halloween. Uh, my name is Ian uh, Payton. I'm a farmer as well in Delta, but I'm also on uh, Delta City Council. So no political questions, just more <laughs> Our driver today is a good friend of mine. His name is Jagdev, and Jagdev's our, our driver. So uh, here we are on Westham Island, and a lot of you people probably go, uh, well, why is this an island? Well, you came over a bridge to get here today, so over to my left, south of here, is the ocean. Uh, just over to uh, the other side of this cornfield, you're going to see the BC oh, Ferry yeah. Terminal and the big uh, port where the coal and the containers come in. Uh, and then just to the north of us is going to be a little section of the Fraser River. If you look now, you'll see a boat going up the Fraser River. Yeah. You see oh, the top yeah. of the boat oh, going up. Oh, there's a boat going up there. The other good looking young guy below me is a famous uh, photographer for National Geographic. His name is Gord. Thanks, Gord, for coming out. Oh, yeah. Checks in the mail, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the most important thing about this expensive tour you're on right now is anybody that's got a question about farming or crops, please feel free to ask me and I'll uh, help you out. Or my friend Jagdev could probably help you out as well. Um, the interesting thing about Westham Island is this island here is one of the few places anywhere in the lower mainland where there's no retail. You won't find a gas station or a corner store or a fast food restaurant. It's all farming here on Westham Island. One other part of Westham Island just further down the road. It's become very famous for over the years. Anyone know what that is called? The Bird Sanctuary. Emily Farms, oh, Emily Farms but also oh, yeah. the Rifle, Rifle Bird Sanctuary. Sanctuary. <laughs> so the Rifle family is a very old family here on Westham Island. And uh, many years ago, they donated oh, hundreds of acres at the very far end. And it's called the Rifle Bird Sanctuary. Thanks, Gord. See you, bud. Oh. <coughs> so if you ever want to travel a bit further down the road, around the corner, you'd come to the Rifle Bird Sanctuary. So here we are. Um, Behind us, we have these beautiful rows of uh, of green things. What do you guys think those are, kids? Uh, rows of strawberries. strawberries. Good guess. Oh wow, strawberries! So green strawberries the Ellis family here oh, have a very good yeah, strawberry, strawberry business lens. every year, but the strawberries are pretty pretty much done by the end of June. So these are just dormant strawberry plants, and they'll be making nice big strawberries again next uh, April, May, and wow. June. Across the street, we have a huge field of corn. corn. And interestingly <laughs> enough, this corn is not for human consumption. It's oh. called cow corn. Oh. cow corn. And we have a couple of very big organic dairy farms in the Fraser Valley, and they will actually hire a farmer down in Delta to grow organic cow corn so that the farmer produces organic milk. He has to be fed organic uh, feed. So this corn will be grown 100% organically, and it'll actually be trucked up to the dairy farms. Up and one's in Cloverdale, the other one's in Abbotsford. Okay. Any other questions uh, about the Ellis family or their farm? Their total farm here is about 130 acres. It's quite a mixed farm. The Ellis's over the years they grow uh, grain, they grow potatoes, they grow pumpkins, and they also grow. Uh, 
hay for horses, and they also have some beef cattle here. So we're gonna see a bit of everything today on this little tour, including some cows and their babies. All right, before we go, any questions about the tour so far? No, no, no? Okay, good, Jagdev, let's move on. Okay.